<clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. My name is Kyle Chasse, and I'm sorry. I am sorry that I have been away for about a month, but it's not because I've been lazy. It's because I've been working my ass off. What have I been working on? I've been working on five projects that I am extremely excited to tell you about today. And I've been doing a lot, a lot of hard work, a lot of research, making sure I get behind some of the best projects I've seen in all of 2020. What are these projects? I'm about to tell you about them. And so make sure you stay tuned to the very end because I'll tell you about my project, Paid Network, which is incredibly awesome, incredibly awesome. And if you like this kind of information, if you like what my videos represent, if you want to see more, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the bell for your notifications. Stay tuned because this is gonna be one of the best videos you have seen in a very long time. All right, everybody, welcome back. I have been extremely busy and uh, sorry for not making a video for about a month now, but I'm about to show you what I have been up to and uh, why I am extremely bullish on these five projects I'm about to tell you about. Uh, keep in mind that I am absolutely biased. This video, I am absolutely biased because I am either advising or founder of the projects I'm about to talk about. <clears throat> But let me give you a little bit of background about my investment history. And keep in mind, nothing in this video is investment advice. Do your own research, of course. But in my nearly nine years in this space, um, you can see some of my investments here. Coinbase, Kraken, Ripple, Abra, Securitize, Bitstamp, Bitfinex, Bank to the Future, Coin Payments, Circle, Lottery.com, Bitso. And keeps going on and on. Elrond, um, Settle Network, Thorchain, Reef, uh, and all of these. So, uh, yeah. So just to give you a little bit about history about kind of the projects that I've invested into and the amount of research that I put into it. Uh, today, I plan on making a, a fairly short kind of summary of each of these five projects. And over the coming weeks, I will make individual videos about each and every one of them. And uh, let's start off with Hathor. So Hathor is a layer one protocol built from scratch. It is a mix between a DAG, which is basically, um, it, it is an extremely fast uh, way and a different kind of consensus mechanism than say um, the Bitcoin blockchain, for example. And it allows things to process much, much faster uh, than like a blockchain, the traditional blockchain. But with that being said, Hathor also has a blockchain built into it too. And what's really interesting is it uses merge mining, meaning that it uses all of the mining power from Bitcoin and Litecoin. So if you're a Bitcoin miner or Litecoin miner, all you have to do is install the Hathor mining software and you don't have to spend any additional resources and you can start mining Hathor. And people have been doing this since January. So the main net has already been live since January. Uh, I am extremely bullish about this. I would say that it's kind of a competitor to Polkadot because they have what basically um, the same kind of idea where you have the main chain and what they call side DAGs. And a side DAG can be any type of independent chain, private or public, that can communicate with the rest of the network, right? So let me just read to you kind of, um, and, and the team, let me just start with the team has been researching some of them since 2011, different consensus mechanisms and decentralized technology. And I think they've been researching the Hathor technology for like seven years or something. So it is uh, extremely well researched. And so far we haven't really seen any projects that have been able to su successfully pull off a DAG. So I think it's safe to say that Hathor is the most secure smart contract platform in the world because it's backed by the Bitcoin mining miners. So what is Hathor? Hathor is a digital platform for financial transactions and contracts with a unique combination of high scalability and high decentralization. It creates the perfect environment for multiple use cases where scale, efficiency, long-term security, and censorship resistance through network distribution combined 
are needed or can drastically cut current cost and bureaucracy. All right. <clears throat> so what makes Hathor different? Source code created from scratch in Python by a team of highly skilled developers, some of whom, whom have been researching cryptocurrency since 2011. Novel distributed ledger tech, uh, architecture using DAG and blockchain data infrastructure intertwined. Highly scalable with no central coordinator or single point of failure. Feeless and quick transactions. Interesting. Proof of work mining rewards economically incentivize the network forever with perpetual and low emissions of native HTR tokens. Merge mining with both Bitcoin and Litecoin. Custom tokens. Create your own digital token with customized specifications on Hathor Network with only a few clicks. Nano contracts, a much, much easier way to do smart contracts. People can create their own token in like a minute, just with a click, basically. Uh, just fill out a couple of couple different fields and boom, you've got your own token. Uh, this will be really, really important. A more secure and straight to the point version for embedded smart contract capabilities and created under heavy scientific and academic scrutiny, originally a research paper written by our CEO, Marcelo Brogliato, and published as part of his PhD thesis. So Hathor has been getting a lot of attention. This is, a, this is gonna be a huge layer one infrastructure protocol, and I'm happy to be saying that I just recently joined their advisor board, and yeah, needless to say, extremely, extremely bullish on this project. Just check it out, go to the communities, look, look in, in Twitter, for like dollar sign HTR or Hathor and see what some of the folks are saying. Next project, um, I have traditionally stayed away from anything that had to do with like DeFi yield farming, especially with anonymous teams. But this team I happen to know and jumped on board as an advisor as well. I think, the gra look how cool the, the graphics are in this thing. This thing's awesome. The whole storyline is awesome. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so basically what Anarchy X is, is basically merging uh, esports, DeFi, and NFTs to create what they're called what they're calling M Sports, which is basically what what Anarchy X is. It's an arcade, and they're going to create a bunch of different games, starting with this game here, uh, Battle Wave twenty three twenty three, and they're going to continue to roll out games where you can play these games, highly competitive. You can win NFTs that are super rare. You can win boost packs to boost your yield farming and things like that. So it's gonna be really, really fun. It's got an awesome theme. I really enjoy it. The team is transparent. Uh, you can see the team here. Uh, JD Sal Salbego has been in space for a very long time, has a great reputation. My friend Joel or Coach K as well as CMO. Um, and then you can see the head of ecosystem growth for each of these different countries, Japan, Singapore, China, Philippines, and Europe. And then advisors, uh, George Sebastio, Jared Politis, and me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see if there's anything I missed. I took some notes over here. So like the goal of Anarchy X is to establish and communicate that we are the first to innovate in the space, DeFi, esports, gaming, and NFTs. And as you know, NFTs are extremely hot right now and only growing at, at rapid speed. Um, let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, not really. Um, but a little bit, just real quick about the founder. So JD, founder and art director of Anarchy X, is a global leader in DeFi and crypto market, market influencer, speaker, published author, and an internationally recognized subject matter expert. JD is also a featured contributor in Cointelegraph, frequently gives media interviews, has been quoted by leading blockchain and crypto news sites, and regularly speaks at leading conferences around the world, like World Economic Forum and many more. His work has been fe featured in Forbes, Business Insider, Yahoo Finance, et cetera, including being linked to boosting J Japanese economy with blockchain. All right, next project is Plasma Pay. These guys are extremely impressive. Uh, they have been building their Plasma DLT from scratch for the past two years. Everything works. So if you were to invest in Plasma Pay, for example, or you, you're, you're, you're investing in something that is already functioning, already functioning, uh, which is quite impressive. Most other things that you're looking at that are gonna be launching this year aren't built yet. They probably don't even have a, VIP, a, v, a MVP. But basically Plasma Pay is a competitor of a crypto.com or a Swipe, for example. It's a bank 2.0 platform and it is the development is extremely impressive. This is what the dashboard looks like. You can do all kinds of things. It's connected to Swift, it's connected to banks. You can create a business account, corporate account, whatever, it's on open public blockchain, it's 50,000 transactions per second. Uh, it is quite impressive. And they have been you know, really coming heavy in the marketing right now. They've got great token economic model. 
And yeah, I, I, I really, really like this project. The, the technology is just mind blowing. And like I said, they, they just have so much done already. Look at all these partnerships with like exchanges like Binance and Kraken and Uniswap and just integration with all these DeFi protocols, you know, using Visa, MasterCard already, Apple Pay. Um, and they're integrating with like things like Polkadot, Ethereum and all these other uh, layer one protocols as well, interoperability. So just a quick, I took some notes quickly about Plasma Pay. So Plasma Pay brings fast and free transactions to decentralized finance and is available on your desktop or your mobile. The, the goal of Plasma Pay is to bring DeFi to the masses. It's already making great headway with over 100,000 customers in 160 countries. Has Talk about adoption, right? So they already have 100,000 customers in over 160 countries. Part of the great appeal of Plasma Pay is the ease with which it allows users to onboard to DeFi with a range of payment options, including Visa, MasterCard, SEPA, and SWIFT. It makes on and off ramps easily and easy and possible. It operates on an independent blockchain dubbed Plasma DLT, which they built from scratch. Plasma DLT is a super fast blockchain capable of 50,000 transactions per second. That's what you need if you are gonna have a payment infrastructure like this. And they have pulled it off. Incredible, and it's working, it's already working. It works. Not theoretical, but it works. Now, <laughs> Plasma Pay is also rolling out cross-chain technology on Plasma DLT, so it will become interoperable with other chains such as Ethereum and Polkadot. Amazing, that it absolutely has to have that. This will allow it to support the continued growth of DeFi, which has so far been over-reliant on Ethereum. The Plasma wallet is a non-custodial wallet supporting BTC, ETH, and 3,000 ERC-20 tokens, as well as Plasma stablecoins pegged to 42 fiat currencies. That's amazing. So they've got 42 different fiat currency stable coins. That's incredible. And, and a lot of the things that I do and exchanges, for example, you need a fiat stable coin in local currencies. And I just haven't seen that anywhere. It is incredibly impressive. Plasma Pay is a complete decentralized banking system uh, whose infrastructure is already built and you can use it right now today. In the future, the company will launch Plasma Pay bank cards so you can buy uh, you can pay with crypto and DeFi tokens in any store which accepts Visa. Plasma Pay also offers corporate and business accounts, allowing businesses to accept crypto payments and cards through one system. Unlike personal accounts, which can be accessed anonymously, a corporate account requires KYC and AML. Now, this might not be a reason for you to get super excited, um, but it is for me. Why? Because I only pay people in crypto. Now, there are some institutions that we work with here at Master Ventures that Absolutely, for one reason or another, they have to have um, a corporate bank account or a corporate account to accept crypto. It's like in their mandate. I don't really understand it. Um, but anyway, this is a solution that we haven't been able to find up until now where a corporation can set up a bank account, accept crypto or use fiat gateways. And there's not going to be any of this crap where these banks give you, give you crap about using crypto, for example, and you can interoperate, you can change back and forth to crypto to fiat, fiat to crypto, blah, 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 back and forth. Amazing. Following an upcoming token generation event, the company will soon be supported by its own native PPay token, a token with conferring multiple benefits to its holders, including governance rights and staking rewards. It will also incentivize users to provide liquidity to the platform. Lastly, PPay will also be used as a payment token for various purchases within the Plasma Pay ecosystem. With infrastructure in place and PPay set for launch, Plasma Pay are now ready to fulfill their ambition in, of lowering barriers to DeFi and bring it to the masses. Amazing. Okay, that's it for Plaza Pay and Sif Chain. All right, so Sif Chain. Um, there's not a lot about this, and I'm going to keep it pretty high level. Uh, I am an advisor for, for Sif Chain. I'm an advisor for, for, for Plaza Pay and Anarchy X and Hathor as well. Um, but, uh, and stay tuned for my favorite project uh, coming up. <laughs> uh, so basically, you know, this this is a highly, like the, the whole team behind Sif Chain is, is heavy developer focused. It's also most of the same, same team that developed Thor Chain. I was also one of the early investors in Thor Chain and that has done extremely well for me. And Sif Chain is leveraging the technology they built from Thorchain in order to build like the best decentralized exchange out there 
uh, like using a lot of hybrid technology, taking the basically the best of both worlds from centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges and making the best DEX that is 100 times faster and more scalable than Ethereum with an Ethereum bridge, of course, so you can send ERC-20 tokens to SIFChain and SIFChain tokens back to Ethereum and vi vice versa, back and forth. Um, you can see like the team is semi-anonymous, but you you can know, just go, go look online, SIFChain, you'll find some of the team. Um, but you can see it's backed by a lot of heavy hitters, including NGC Ventures, Alameda Research, GenBlock, Kinetic, June Capital, Master Ventures, uh, AU21, and so on, so on. Um, and then I'll just tell you what is really, really interesting here. Um, so imagine this being way better than Uniswap with way more features, like a full-fledged exchange. But here's where it gets interesting, right? Trading on margin. So they're basically building a decentralized BitMEX. And with BitMEX going through all this trouble, you need a decentralized margin trading platform. And this is exactly what SIFChain aims to do. Booyah. Last but not least, my project, Paid Network. So <clears throat> I am so excited about this. Um, I've been in the space for almost nine years, never created my own token project. I felt the time was right right now. Um, and what this is basically is this is a platform that's going to make doing business much, much easier with people. Right now, everybody knows the civil legal system is, is useless. Like I have been a serial entrepreneur for about 20 years. I signed hundreds of business contracts and a few of them didn't go so well. And I tried to sue them, sue those counterparties in court. And that process, if you haven't been through it already, uh, I recommend you don't ever, unless it's like worth millions of dollars because you will spend so much money in legal fees and the courts move so slow, it's insane. I've had a court case open now for three years with no resolution still. And then let's say that I win that court case, collecting the money becomes a nightmare after that. So the entire process of doing contract, everybody also knows when, you, when you're about to sign a contract or you're, or you're reading through a contract that someone sends you and it says, this contract is governed by the jurisdiction of this country. Well, now that we're doing cross-border business, everybody knows that like, we're not gonna fly to, let's say I'm doing business with someone in Mexico or the guys from Hathor in Brazil. If they violate the terms of that contract, for example, I'm not gonna fly to Mexico or Brazil or Japan or Russia or China to go litigate these cases. It's, it's, it's worthless, but people are spending a ton of money on legal costs and it, it, it just, it's absolutely unnecessary. So what paid is doing is building a super simple way for people to do business with each other with super simplified legal agreements uh, that can be used in the paid ecosystem. Paid has arbitrators in case a dispute happens. And then we also have uh, DeFi tools in, to in help ensure that you get paid like escrow, like insurance, like borrowing and lending. Um, and I just want to show you quickly about, uh, and, and we have like, we love token economics. We've done token economics as a company for Elrond. We help with Ultra, with Split, and we, we do massive models. And we can just tell you that we have uh, thought of a lot of ways to add value to the paid token in the to paid token ecosystem. Um, we also have like a burning model so that at the, eventually the, it will become 50% of the total supply from burning them um, and so much more. Uh, we have a really, really world-class team, all-star team. Um, here's some of the places the team has worked. Goldman Sachs, KPMG, Dell, Microsoft, Huawei, Deutsche Bank, FCB, Copa Airlines, BNY Mellon, Uber, Amazon, and we have a kick-ass advisory board. So Ryan Williams from Ashbury Legal, uh, he was representing Binance, Ripple, Constellation, IDEX, uh, Yori. He's doing. He was. He's helping us with everything from business to development, and especially when it comes down to modular contracts for enterprise. He did them for Shell and Siemens. You guys know Ivan on tech, my my boy. Um, he has his academy, and he worked for Ericsson before. Roderick, who did our token economics for us, worked at Bloomberg. You guys probably know Didi, my, the, my man Didi from the Bitcoin family, and Joel, who is also the CMO of Anarchy X, is helping us out as well. Um, our MVP is ready, and uh, and we are doing uh, our, our public sale. All of these projects, by the way, are including ours, are set to launch this year. So in the next month to six weeks, all of these projects. 
Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much. Again, I will get into much more detail about all these projects in future videos. Um, for Paid Network, join our Telegram, just Telegram, Paid Network, join our Twitter, Paid Network. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I will see you soon.